big game next week and then another one two weeks later. But I like it that way. I think, you know, despite some flaws, like there's not as many flaws as there used to be. And do you think players are enjoying it more, let's say, even in comparison to 10 years ago when you first got involved? Yeah, yeah I, I do. I think it's, you know, like the, the sport's beginning to get a higher profile. I just think we're bad at... PR. I've, I've always thought that, and, and I can't even blame the media. It's, it's ex players. Like, she's laughing at me because I, don't, I won't talk to the media. <laughs> but like, I just, I do. I, I do you want think to, we're too negative on football now? I, 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 I do. Yeah. I, I th- but I think it's all ex players. Like, you know, look at them. They're not nearly as good as me. I'm just, I, I can't understand it because I, I look at the skill level of these boys coming through. And, like, you look at there today, like defenders coming up, but well, like scoring, like you know, Peter McGrain again, another goal. You look, you look at McCluskey, like Derry, like, like all of them are doing it. You know, like that's the skill level they're at. Like back in her day, like you know, a defender passed their own forty-five to nearly get a nosebleed. Uh, listen, actually, I th- I think that there's not a manager in the country that's in tender hooks, and I don't think there's a player either. I think you know, there's there's a lot of fretting going on. There's just no opportunity. There's no. There's no uh, wriggle room um, if you do pick up a knock and, um, you know, something that can be mundane becomes massive and it becomes massive in the mind of the player as well because time frames are so tight, you know, you could, as I said, like, you could pick up an injury, you know, one of our lads could pick up an injury now and they could they could miss the whole Ulster Championship because it's played nearly week on week on week, you know, so things like that, they're a grade two hamstring, you wouldn't be worrying about it, you'd be saying, right, he might miss a game, you could miss the whole competition. I think the whole thing is very unfair on players, very demanding, uh, we'd need two, three weeks off after an intense league campaign like this, but the whole season is a mess. I'm surprised that the GPA aren't jumping up and down and shouting about the, the pressure that's on players. Imagine, fellas, we had a player who played uh, 13 games in 30 days between Sigerson League and different things. That sort of demand uh, it wouldn't be there for a professional player. The whole thing needs to be revisited. There is absolutely no need to be playing the All-Ireland in July. The feeling was last year, maybe against Derry, that perhaps you didn't have enough shooters, that the opportunity was there and perhaps you didn't have enough. So that's something you've clearly been working on. Without a doubt, and I think we we tweaked with our game there, you know, at the start of the year, and it might have cost us in that we were leaving ourselves open at the back, trying to have a better offensive game. And we've had to go back now to see, can we you know, have the best of both worlds. But as I saw tonight there, we conceded 216 again. We are conceding more scores than we, we like, but it's, it's, it's with the plan of trying to get to the next level. You know, otherwise we could be a defensive team and it'll take you so far, but you'll, you'll never threaten the, the bigger, better teams and we're on a journey. We, we need to knuckle down out for Limerick in two weeks' time and that's the only thing we're, we're, we'll, we'll worry about tomorrow. We're probably down seven or eight fellas who would contend to start. I'm not saying they'll start now, but could be in contention to start, um, you know, in our team. So, so look, both teams were, 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 were down main and this was a bit of home advantage helped us. The update, I suppose, the big talk from the build-up as well was the injury to Jason. How bad is that? He going to be? He's only seen I know, it's a nasty injury and it's going to take time. Ligaments take time to heal, so looks like you won't be seeing him for the foreseeable future. Where do you think this Dublin team is at compared to the rest of the teams at the minute? Okay, well, I think everybody, they're Ireland champions. They're getting stronger. Um, they are a phenomenal outfit, don't get me wrong, but I know and today they got probably they played some exhibition football. Uh, definitely a big part of it was their quality, probably some of that was our lack of quality and our lack of intensity. Will we be seeing James McCarthy, Mick Fitzsimon, Stephen Cluxton back in? Yeah, those lads um, uh, are, are back training and um, you know have been for a few weeks now, so uh, I'd expect them to see them in the, in the mix very soon.